Happy Sunday, guys. Welcome to our Sunday episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. And in today's session, we are going to focus on the blue chip companies. I know we have already recorded a video last Friday and Saturday, and some of those are have already covered uh, some of the blue chip companies. So I am going to focus on the remaining uh, stocks in the index. So as we all know, we have 30 um, stocks, around 30 plus stocks in the in the um, PSEI. And let me start with, because uh, these stocks I'm going to cover have not been discussed yet. So let me start with SM. And I know some of you guys have also requested this. Let me go ahead and uh, plot our, okay, so this is our setup. This is how we do our uh, analysis. All right, so let me first go to SM. Okay, it looks like we had a slight overshoot in SM and uh, in our candlestick last Friday, it looks like it is um, still respecting this area of support over here. Uh, I'd say uh, this level is our support around uh, 911. Uh, I think it just filled this gap over here. And um, well, it already validated that, but uh, we just have to be extra careful because um, considering the lift in the price from March to uh, the current day, it has already uh, moved up in a significant amount. And uh, let us see if it will hold in this level. Uh, let me also just plot our uh, Fibonacci retracement. Let's see if it's also respecting that level as a possible area of bounce. So we used the uh, wick over here. So there's a wick. So let me see. Looks like in our Fibonacci retracement, it might even drop up to this level as our uh, support area. So I think uh, I'd like to uh, be a little more conservative in this space. And uh, let's plot our nearest support then at 883.94. That's the area right here. Uh, I think it, this is also pretty much accurate because I've seen a resistance at that level. And uh, right now, it looks like because it managed to break out of that. So good if it will bounce right away in this level uh, because there was a consolidation. But... Overall, um, based on our Fibonacci retracement, there's a possibility that it could even drop up to this point. But let me just go ahead and plot this level here because who knows? Uh, you know, in our candlestick last uh, Friday, uh, there was already a confirmation of um, a green candlestick there which is in this level previously you had a doji right there so uh, it could also mean a possible bounce there just be extra conservative there uh, in case it breaks down maybe what you can do just uh, if you don't want to wait anymore 916 and uh, provision a stop loss level up to this area uh, maybe around a slight uh, slightly lower than that line so that if it bounces in this area, it will still not be kicked out. So probably around 873 or 869 area, that will be a, a much better uh, wiggle room there. Otherwise, if you want to really be conservative, you have to wait for the price to touch this level because um, after all, uh, no one can really predict the market. We're just establishing areas of possible bounce here. So... If you are a trader and uh, you want to get in, make sure to uh, look at it this way and then you have to drill down further into a much faster uh, time frame so that you can already plan out your, your entries and exits. Next would be SMPH. Okay, for SMPH, uh, this is the area 
that we see as our support level. This is the support level that we see. Uh, looking at this area over here, there used to be a support and then uh, some consolidation that happened right over here. So just in case uh, price fluctuates tomorrow between 31.03 and 31.60, that is already a good um, area to try out and uh, do some test buys. You don't have to put in everything all at once there. Uh, maybe a fraction of your uh, buying power. And then uh, once you see some more uh, bullish movements, then you can just add some more volume. Because right now, it's as you can see, the trend line is moving upwards, but uh, very, very slow movement for SMPH. AC. AC, I'd say be extra careful. Uh, you already had... Um, Two attempts to break your uh, resistance level first stop here second stop here and as we did that look at your RSI your RSI was dropping while uh, the price level hit the uh, resistance area in two occasions and uh, that's not a good sign. Even though you had a green candlestick uh, right now, probably the farthest it could go would be another hit in the uh, resistance area. And if you see another red candlestick there, then um, yeah, lock in some profit. Meaning you can, if, if you want to be a long-term investor here, maybe you can uh, just, you know, um, take profit for a few percentage of your uh, portfolio. And then when it drops again, uh, then you can just buy some more. Okay, there you have it. That's already a big increase in the price. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's our um, take for today for AC. JGS. I'd say JGS had a good bounce. Look at that. It just respected your MA20 line there. And uh, before it even reached that level, for several days, it has been stopping at this level uh, and then bouncing. So I think uh, it just strengthened the uh, support area at the 60.37. So I, I'd say uh, I see some more bullish movements or uh, another green candlestick to be formed uh, in tomorrow's performance. At the same time, if uh, you know some people will be taking profit anywhere from 60.37 and uh, 62, that would be a good uh, haggle in the price. BPI. Uh, oh, not a good sign for BPI. Look at this. Uh, two days straight of red, and uh, we're now moving lower than the MA20 line. So uh, I'd say maybe I'd. Take a look at it on a weekly chart, let us see. Okay, so I think it will go back to your MA20 line over here. In a weekly chart, it might drop up to that level, 66.33. You had a support over here. Okay, so uh, that simply confirms that this area could mean a, a possible bounce area, 66.37. If you want to be... Um, play conservative again and then uh, just wait for some more discount there and uh, enter 66.33 I would say look at uh, BPI for long-term investing and uh, with that your risk here is just very small against the uh, uh, potential gain that you can get look at this okay from a 66 to 123 that's uh, what, a 100% increase or a 100% discount or 50%? There, that's a 46% drop. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at URC. I see a weekly chart, but I'd like to go to the daily chart. And here, I like how the candlestick ended in our Friday's performance here. Look at this. Uh, this one uh, confirmed a bounce. And uh, this, for me, I feel strongly uh, in this level because uh, 
you had a green engulfing candlestick last Friday, and uh, it also started at the area where it stopped last Thursday. Uh, also, there used to be a resistance here. Okay, so I see that as a possible area of bounce. And just try to uh, observe perfect entry there between 126 to 130. I just have no control uh, the moment the market starts and it goes higher than 129.50. So your call. Uh, overall, it's still a healthy level for an entry. AEV. AEV uh, um, also uh, trying to uh, bounce at this level. 45.06, see this? That also used to be your support. And we're now moving higher than that. So I think your previous support was revisited and now we're creating uh, another support in this level. This used to be a resistance as well, this one too. So I think something good is going to happen in this level, it, just in case people will take profit. 45.06 for me is uh, a possible area of bounce. Globe. As for globe, okay. So this is an engulfing candlestick. We're now inside uh, the Bollinger Band. So I'd say this is a bounce. Uh, however, overall, I find this area already as a, you know, a high level or a bit expensive. So I suggest just do range trading for now uh, for this stock. Uh, because next possible resistance could be right here, and then next would be right here. So, yes, the nearer you are to the 2061 level when you enter, the better. That way you have a more uh, profitable uh, position there. But that's only 6%. What if you take it up to here? So that's an 11%. Overall, it's already, uh, you know, uh, this level is already high and uh, we'll just see if it will stabilize. Hopefully it breaks the, uh, fifth, is this, I think, 52 week high? Yeah, 2, 3, 52 week high. Yeah, this area was your 52 week high. So if it breaks that, that's a good sign. We might have another wave uh, going up. But for now, the nearer you are to 2061, the better. That's when you enter. Uh, what about AP? AP just uh, well bounced, although it's red today, but I'd say uh, it managed to uh, bounce already. And uh, so this is the area that I see as your support. 26.66, uh, you see this? This used to be your resistance. If you want to have a clear uh, outlook there, uh, that would be, you have to expand it on a weekly chart. On a weekly chart, there could be, there's a possibility that it will drop up here. So maybe tomorrow could be a good day, but within the week, it might even drop some more. So if you want, you can be a little conservative and uh, be on the, on the safer side, just in case it drops up to 25.62. But I see this area as well as so I'm plotting it right now so if, if price starts at 26.57 and continues to move higher then that's good um, otherwise it might even drop up to this level one thing I don't like just realize this one thing I don't like about this formation is it established a lower high so it has to first break this descending triangle that we have right here before we can say you have a bounce. So that's your trend line. It's going down. It created a lower high. Also, your here. So it's on a decline technically. So that's um, maybe what I can suggest here is wait for this level just to be, you know, on the safer side. Uh, the sentiment for now, I think, is really more on a decline. Looking at it looking at it again on the second uh, attempt okay so 25.62 for me is a much safer uh, location next one would be uh, ICT ICT okay we're still respecting the MA20 line here 
Uh, however, I see a resistance uh, nearby, which is around this level, 105.18. So if you are still going to enter here, you only have a potential gain of 3.78. So um, my suggestion probably is for you to wait for it to break out of uh, the 105.18 area so that you have a more profitable setup there um, and play a breakout game. Okay, uh, for now, once it reaches this level, let's say it touches 115.18, see if you still have the same pattern in your RSI. So far, your RSI is already declining, uh, showing a uh, bearish signal now. The momentum is starting to die down. Next one would be the GT cap. As for GT cap, <clears throat> well, we're already outside of uh, this... Uh, Bollinger band, but that I mean MA20 line, but that could also mean a slight overshoot. So let's see in a weekly chart. Oh, I don't like this. So far in a weekly chart, it is uh, experiencing some resistance or rejection in this level. So I have a feeling it might drop again. So hold on to your uh, buying power. If you are interested in this stock, um, this is another area. Okay, so right at that level, 384. There's a big possibility that it will do a, another revisit of uh, the bottom there. So um, if that happens, uh, I suggest, uh, you know, uh, save up for that opportunity. Because I think there's a big chance that it might go back there and just do a triple bottom. And in that triple bottom, if you still see the same pattern whereby you have your RSI moving higher and higher. So I think that's a, a much better outlook or uh, setup. If you're doing a, if you would like to do bottom fishing, uh, wait for it right here. Meg. As for Meg, uh -huh. look at your weekly chart, guys. Meg as well. Well, this is your MA20 line. And you also had your resistance here. So let us see if uh, uh, this level is going to be respected. Slightly lower than the line there, but I see your resistance is in this level. So I'm plotting it there. Let's take a look at how far it is in your daily chart. So not very far, uh, but I feel it might possibly drop uh, for, a few, for a few more cents there. 2.83 is the price I'm looking at right now. MPI. MPI, be extra careful. You are sitting at a resistance area. This area is a resistance. Um, as you can see here, if you look to the left, uh, this area used to be a, a resistance. And then we revisited that level and I see some signs of weakness and uh, we might drop some more. Okay, I have a feeling it will touch the uh, MA20 once again. So just be extra careful there. However, on a separate note, um, there's also what we call a breakout play when uh, you're already seated at a resistance and then let's say tomorrow price starts higher than 3.84 or 3.80. Uh, that's a much better story. Even better when there is a gap up because that will confirm a breakout play. That's good because there are some people who also would like to play it this way. Some would like to do bottom fishing. Others would like to do a breakout play because when a breakout play happens, this is how it normally behaves. Goes all the way up. Sometimes it's like a slightly increase in the price or a slight increase in the price sometimes it goes all the way up you don't really know how much and then revisit your support confirm that support and then continue higher so your previous resistance will become a support sometimes it only does that for a day and then goes back to the level uh, the next day and then continue higher so that's how uh breakout play normally happens it creates a higher high and um, it could create 
it could revisit your previous resistance and create a support um, that now will result in a higher high and a higher low. That's your sign that this stock is now doing uptrend. Actually, right now, it's already in an uptrend. It's just that we're now at a resistance area. Sec B. Sec B is just taking its time, guys. Still doing sideways, uh, but with the green candlestick forming today, I sense uh, possible bullish actions there. Just in case, though, that some people within the day take uh, profit, I have a feeling it might dance around 100, 195, and 10650. So hopefully we have a big candlestick uh, in today's performance or tomorrow's performance. But that's your support, 101.95. How's pure gold? I haven't talked about pure gold for a long time. Oh, okay. So see this? We've been, um, I think, in the past few weeks, we were talking about pure gold um, almost every day. And we said that we're already in a resistance area. Right now, guys, I'd say be extra careful. Even though that's a green today, uh, we have not really uh, engulfed the uh, last red candlestick. So we might have some more declines and you don't have much volume to push the price higher so maybe it could drop up to uh, 41.25 the reason why i said that is because i saw this yeah or it could be up to here because there used to be a support here so 42 42.03 that's a possible area of bounce that i, I can see right now uh, Bloom. <clears throat> As for Bloom, okay, the uh, concentration of the movement right now for the past how many days are in uh, this level. So let us see uh, how it behaves once it reaches this level. One thing I don't like about the pattern right now, could be here, right, is that we're also declining in momentum. So I think people feel that we're already at a, a kind of expensive uh, area. So if you're just merely trading this, find a good entry. Uh, observe how the market is performing tomorrow. If, uh, let's say it starts here, and then the sentiment is moving downward, so I'm, it might drop up to this level, 5.99. But if it uh, starts here and moves, the sentiment is moving higher, chances are it could even reach 7.99. Uh, next one would be RRHI. This is Robinson's Retail Holdings. Okay, uh, I don't like this uh, formation. Although, let me see, we're already at the, um, still at the oversold level. Um, and this could also mean a short-term resist uh, support area. So let's see if it will continue to start here and move higher. This could just be a temporary retracement. Let me plot our Fibonacci. Okay, very near the area. Let me just remove this. Okay, this could also mean a slight, just slight overshoot in uh, the uh, 0.382 area. So that could also mean a possible bounce there, right? So treat this level as your support area for now. If it's not broken by tomorrow, then uh, that's a confirmation. We have a bounce right there. If not, next possible area of bounce would be your 0.5 level. And uh, lowest drop could be uh, 0.618. If it goes further downwards, I don't like uh, what the next course of action is if that happens. Okay, so this could just mean, uh, you know, uh, temporary retracement and then uh, it could also bounce. So at least you have key areas to uh, monitor uh, through our Fibonacci retracement tool. Uh, last stock is FGEN. FGEN is, uh, I don't like this, okay? Guys, this is, even though that is a green, that could also mean a bearish signal. 
were uh, seated at a, a possible resistance. Okay, see this? This used to be a resistance area. So that's why probably it did not uh, push through in uh, the price movement uh, breaking that level. So if there is, okay, so two things could happen here. Probably if red candlestick comes out tomorrow, that could mean a possible uh, or some more retracement will happen the following days. But if it breaks out of the 2250, then that's a different story. You have a breakout play there. Okay, just uh, just take note, however, of where take note of where your RSI is currently seated. So between uh, price doing a breakout and price doing a rejection, uh, my take is more on the uh, bearish uh, side because right now I. I'm a bit on the defensive side in, in my trades. I, I'm not really a big player of uh, breakouts. I'd rather wait for it for price to do. Um, I like bottom fishing compared to breakout. Okay. There you have it, guys. So uh, I hope I was able to help. And uh, these are just my insights. I highly recommend you still do your analysis. Uh, one thing that I do not cover here is the fundamentals. So um, because I I do not have the uh, the time to look into the nitty gritty of the financials of each company. So I would like to highly encourage you to first look at the fundamentals and then from there, if you know which stock has a solid foundation in terms of their financial health, uh, then the next step is look at the technicals. It's That's the decision matrix there. In the meantime, I wish you good luck in your trades tomorrow. And uh, keep saving. Keep investing. You will never go wrong with that. Thank you for uh, supporting Miss JD. If you have not subscribed yet, I invite you to hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always updated whenever we have new videos. Uh, I, one commitment that I have for you guys is I will do this every single day. Uh, it's a win-win situation. I share my thoughts at the same time. I'm also skilling myself. And uh, yes, hopefully everything goes well for all of us in the world of trading. In the meantime, happy Sunday and good night. Bye-bye for now.